Hello, my name is James Norman and I'm the Head of Engineering at Storage Made Easy. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the latest update to our Microsoft Teams application. This latest Teams update now provides the ability to pin folders within the Microsoft Teams environment. This gives you the ability to share folders with people you are collaborating with within the Teams ecosystem, whether they be perhaps internal or external colleagues that you are collaborating with in a way that is secured, audited and protected. So here we are, we're going to start here on our web file manager and this is where the pinning process begins for us. I'm looking at a sample folder here I've set up with a couple of projects that I might want to share with people I'm working with in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to start with our Northern Rail project here and I want to share this with my colleagues. So from the sharing menu, we've now added a new dedicated option to create a special Microsoft Teams shared folder. Clicking this allows me to then control the security settings of how I want to share this within the Microsoft Teams environment. Here I can set restrictions around the tabs and the channels it can be added to, and I can also control the behavior of the, uh, the folder that is added for, the, for my colleagues. For example, whether they can read or write to that folder. I'm going to leave the settings as their default settings right now, which allows both upload and download to this folder. And I'm going to click the Create button. This gives me a special pre-configured sharing code, which I can then copy and then use within the Microsoft Teams environment. Moving over to Microsoft Teams now, here I am within our Teams environment, and I'm looking at our collaboration channel we have set up here. I'm going to go to the plus button at the top, and I'm going to add the Enterprise File Fabric application in here. I'm going to give the tab a name, for example, Project Files, and I'm going to select to use a special pre-configured sharing code. I'm going to paste this code in, and I'm going to click Save. This is now going to configure a tab for us here within the Teams channel that's available both to me and also to the other participants in this channel. They could be participants in or outside of our organization. So now we can see this folder, it's loaded, and we can see the files and the folders within here. So we can, for example, see the files and we can open up previews. We could also add files to these folders as well. I also want to give you an example, however, of how this also works for perhaps people who are outside of our organization who already have access to this channel. I've got an example here in another window of an external collaborator who also has access to this folder, to this channel. And you can see at the top here, we also have access now to this project files tab. As the collaborator, I can then click on this and access the folder. This ensures that the person is authenticated accessing into this folder using that pre-configured sharing code. They can then access this and again, perform uploads and downloads and previews and collaborate with people inside of this folder. So we've really enabled end users to be able to collaborate within domain contexts of files and folders within Microsoft Teams. And what's important is this data is residing on your storage, whether that be your on-premise storage, be it file, log, or object-based storage, or cloud-based storage object, or, or other SaaS types of cloud storage. Finally, from an auditing point of view, every single time a user is collaborating, accessing within these types of folders, all of this is, is audited in our audit logs which can of course be taken off to other systems as well. So you can see here, for example, that the folder was accessed here by a user accessing it in a certain way. Here's, for example, myself accessing this folder, and you can see we log things like their username, their object IDs, the user principal names, and the domain that they were using to access. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you find the update to our Teams application very useful and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.